Hi, Stampers! Hello, hello, welcome to my live. Oh my gosh, I have a hair out of place here. How are you? I'm trying to get set up here and get walked on so I can see all of your comments. Happy Wednesday, huh? Okay, I was going to try to use my computer a different way than I normally do, and it's not working out so hot. So, I'm trying to flip this back and see me live because I want to be able to see who's watching me and answer your questions. Let's see here. Okay. Oh no, no. I can hear myself talking. I don't want that. Okay. Um, I don't know if I can. Give me one second. I'm gonna put my phone on. Do not disturb if I can. Oh, I think I paused you. Are we good? I think we're good now. Okay, so, hi again. I got my phone on Do Not Disturb, so hopefully that means my video will not stop in the interim. Um, if my video does get cut off, remember, I live in the country. If you watch my YouTube, I always say that I'm from New Holstein and my Stampin' Studio. If uh, the live feed gets interrupted, uh, just click the refresh button at the top of your computer screen or your phone to refresh my page and then you should be able to um, have the live feed restart again. So anyway, as you're logging on, make sure you say hello and tell me where you're from. I love to know who's watching me and um, be able to say hello to you. When I'm stamping, if you have any questions at all, post them in the comments. And always remember, share, comment, order. If you do those three things, you can be entered for a prize for each one. So, I have to tell you that I am not, well, I am now, but as of this morning, I was not very prepared for my live event. Um, I work as a credit manager for a pretty large company in Appleton. In fact, in, hello Charlene, um, in fact, in the state. And oh my gosh, my job is super demanding and I've been having to work super long hours and not getting the kind of sleep that I'm used to getting. I think the change of uh, daylight savings time is totally killing me and so I had nothing prepared so this morning I was laying in bed at like 4 30 in the morning so my husband he works uh, four 10 hour days and he starts his job at I think five o'clock yeah five o'clock in the morning we each live 40 minutes from work and so his alarm goes off at like I don't know, 3.30, I think. And so I'm not really getting very good sleep between 3.30 and when I get up, which is typically 5 o'clock. Anyway, 4.30 in the morning, I'm laying in bed. I could not fall back asleep after my husband's alarm. And I'm like, well, I should not waste this time. And so this is how you know I'm a diehard stamper and I love doing my lives. At 4.30 in the morning, I came up here and I prepared some projects for you guys. Um, now, I'm doing something a little different. I kind of focused on a few techniques the last couple times. And as I was prepping for the projects today, I got to thinking there have got to be other stampers out there like me who have really demanding jobs or really demanding families or love to travel or they've got a lot of hobbies and they're into other crafts 
and they just hi Kathy oh from Canada welcome glad you could join us um, anyway they don't have a lot of time to sit down and might be hey Rachel and they might be pressed for time so I'm going to give you some tips today in my live for how you can create something quickly hi Sandy um, and get your stamping creative therapy in and make some projects because that is what keeps me sane lately um, okay so that's what tonight's live is gonna be about I think you're really gonna like the projects they're very simple a lot of them are very quick to put together and so you're not gonna have to invest a lot of time making these cards Another thing about my stressful week, my husband and I have two dogs and we also have two cats. So first of all, you should know I can never keep my house clean because there's dog and cat hair everywhere. But anyway, our one dog is a purebred plot hound and my husband and I had dreams of breeding her one day, potentially. I'm not so sure that's going to work out because she isn't the kind of hunter that we thought she would be. Um, she does fine. Her nose is great. We just didn't put in the time to train her on stuff. Well, she's in heat right now. And I got to tell you, she is wound tight right now. She wants to make puppies really bad. Like she wants to make puppies with the box on the floor. She wants to make puppies with her doggy bed, with my husband's pillow, and she is ruining some stuff in our house. She ruined her doggy bed because she wanted to make puppies, and she is also uh, whining like crazy, and so at night, not very much sleep going on. Okay, anyway, so please, I want you to know if you are stressed and you are busy, you can stamp and get in creative therapy too. So that's what tonight's all about. Um, another thing I want to mention is that this week is my very first, oh, hi, Ma is that Mattia or Matia? I'm not sure how I say your name from California. Thanks for joining. Um, <clears throat> this week is my very first blog hop with a very talented group of stampers. I am in a, it's called a paper pumpkin thing blog hop and it goes live tomorrow morning. I believe it's nine o'clock central time and uh, we have taken, uh, every month we take our paper pumpkin kits and we come up with two projects. One is usually a 3D project and one is a card and we show you some alternate ideas for what to do with your kit so that you have uh, more options with the stamps and all the products you get in there. So make sure you check out my blog tomorrow for that, uh, countrycardsbyrose.com. Um, also, I've been posting more videos for my projects. Um, this week I made some swap cards and I showed you in a video how to make the cards. And so I've been kind of reminding everybody to make sure you're subscribing to my YouTube channel. Um, I don't want you to miss my videos and I typically try to do simple cards. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube I also may check out, I noticed that YouTube has a new live feature, and so I'm toying with the idea of checking out going live there too as a little something special for my YouTube subscribers. So I think that I'm ready to show you what I've been stamping this week and do our prizes, and then let's get going on the projects, shall we? I'm gonna flip my camera around so if you have motion sickness, close your eyes, okay? Okay, I think that's working. Center this so I know. 
<clears throat> where my workspace is so you can see what I'm doing. If the lighting is an issue, please tell me. I have this desk lamp that I can kind of move all over, and sometimes I notice I get some dark shadows over here. So if you are not able to see what I'm doing, just tell me in the comments, and I'll make some changes. Okay, so just a reminder, I give away prizes. If you would like to win a prize, you get an entry by sharing my live video, by commenting on my live, and by placing an order using my host code. This is my host code up here, this BD7GXFTX. Now, make sure if your order is $150 or more, do not use the host code so that you can get Stampin' Rewards for free stuff. That's pretty awesome. Um, also, just a reminder, celebration is coming to an end at the end of the month. So if you have celebration stuff that you have your eye on, now is the time to order. And also on my blog, I have a page, it's right along the top, called Rustic Rewards. Make sure you check that out. I'm going to talk about that a little bit more on my next um, live. But anyway, so now I want to show you what I've been stamping. I was in a swap using the Picture Perfect Birthday Bundle, and I made this fun fold card. Super easy, super quick. I love the paper, and I just think that's such a neat fold, something different than the typical card. Oh, I did a video for this card, so that should be coming out later this week, maybe this weekend. Um, I'll get it all ready, or early next week. Here's another card I made for the swap. I did a video on this the other day, so again, if you're interested in seeing how I made this and getting some tips, Go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just search for Rose Grunewald and it'll come up. And here's some of the swap cards I've received so far. I'm horrible at getting my mail every day. Oh my God, horrible. So I only have a few here, but I promise I'll have more next time. So this card is from my friend Judy and she used some of that glimmer paper. And again, the designer series paper and our simple stripes embossing folder. And I'm going to take this out of here because she used some of the mini bows. And I think those are adorable. For Christmas time, we had green and red ones. And now they have them in those really fun, bright colors that coordinate with this picture perfect birthday set. Here's another one from Judy. She used bright colors again here and some of the DSP designer series paper from that set. Um, I think that's gorgeous. Here is another fun fold. Oh, I love that she used some washi tape along the bottom right here. I do not use washi tape near enough. I'm gonna start. So when we open this up, isn't that cute? I really like fun folds. And one other card, again, from Judy for the swap. And this is a really simple card. Um, just some embossed, the sequins embossing folder. Strip of designer series paper, a cute little bow. I just love this card. Okay, now, I think everybody's waiting for prizes. So, here's the deal. My prizes this week, I'm giving away... The cards we made in our last live so I have the basket card and then these three really pretty black ice technique cards I'm giving this prize away for the shares let me get my list of my winners here okay share Charlene Grunwald from Kiel got the prize so she won these cards for sharing my Facebook live congrats Charlene thank you so much for sharing and the next prize I showed you some alternative ideas 
um, other colors for our black ice technique and another option for the basket weave card. And this prize is going to um, a commenter. And the winner of that is Sandy, I think it's Bergeis from Little Shoot. I saw Sandy say hello earlier. So thanks so much for your comment, Sandy. I really appreciate it. And these are your prizes. You will need to pop me an email so that I can get your address. Uh, so just email me countrycardsbyrose at gmail.com. Um, or message me on Facebook and I'll get your information. Let me just set these aside. And grand prize for ordering. I have Wendy Malloy from Iron Mountain, Michigan. Thanks so much for your order, Wendy. Um, she wins this Hedgehogs stamp set. This is adorable, don't you think? Oh my gosh, super great. Okay, what do you say we get stamping? Now, remember I said I had nothing prepared until 4.30 this morning. I was a little frazzled. I came into my stamp room and I found this card. Now, I actually was inspired to make this card by my demonstrator friend, Dina, and she is a different stamp set, and I thought, I've got something that I can uh, make that's similar to the card that she made that I really liked. So this card is my inspiration for all of our projects, and I'm going to come back and kind of show you how I was inspired by this card as we're making them. So let's get started. Okay. I have everything I need kind of organized in these little bins. The first card we're going to make uses this adorable Party Panda celebration item. This is a free item with a $50 purchase. Um, these pandas are cute. You've got a few really fun sayings, some confetti here. And we're going to use our uh, Stampin' Blends as well on the uh, balloon. I'm also going to use uh, the Friend Sentiment from the lovely Inside and Out stamp set. Uh, believe it or not, this little stamp is one of my very favorites and all of my stamps. Uh, I stamped it randomly, kind of in the corners, to add a little something to the inside of my card, and I fell in love with it. All right. So... We are going to be using one of my favorite color combinations, Soft Sky, Real Red, and Whisper White. The first time I saw this was actually in last year's um, Occasions Catalog. There were some Valentine's projects that featured that color combination, and I thought, oh my gosh, I would never would think to put those colors together. And here it's turning out to be one of my very favorites. So I've got the panda with the balloon and I'm inking it up with my Memento ink pad. This is our black. Hi, Kathy. I see Sue just joined us. Hello. Okay, and I'm going to stamp our panda. On our layer. Oh no, I got a little black in there. I saw that it was inked up. You know what? That's okay. That's why paper has two sides, right? Let's try this again. See, I make lots of mistakes stamping. Make sure I don't have any ink in the center there. Okay, let's stamp again. Ah, adorable. He's so darn cute holding that balloon. 
Now, oops, over here, I have my stamp and scrub. So when I'm going off camera to clean, it's because I'm a little bit particular about cleaning my stamps right away for some reason, and I just want to get them cleaned off. Okay, so I'm using the Happy Birthday Sentiment in real red. And what I'm going to do is... Stamp our happy birthday a few times, a little whimsically. And I want to bring in some of the soft sky. Being careful to make sure I don't have a halo around my words. Now, I want this to be subtle, so when I want a subtle color, I always stamp off first. So for those that are new, stamping off means that you stamp on a scrap piece of paper before you stamp on your project, and it just softens the color of your ink. This one I'm going to stamp off twice. There we go. I get it a little more subtle. Okay. So it's saying happy birthday for friend. The friend is a little bit subtle. Let's come in here with our stamp and blend. I'm using uh, dark pool party. Make sure I have the right colors. Dark pool party and light pool party. And I'm going to outline in the dark and then come back in, add the light, and then I'm going to blend towards the light color. I want just a little more dark and then I'll just blend it. Okay. Now I want some confetti on my balloon. So I'm going to stamp that. And our layer is stamped now oh I forgot to tell you what size this card was okay so <clears throat> our card base is uh, just a piece of cardstock cut in half so it's five and a half by eight and a half for my red layer I went a half inch smaller so five by three and three quarters and then this white layer I went an eighth of an inch smaller than that so that I just have a sixteenth of an inch kind of peeking out around the stamped layer. Um, yeah, I see that Kathy is saying uh, that this is out of focus. Is my, is my video blurry for anybody? If you want to leave a message, I'll see if I can try and focus it on my phone. It is a little blurry for me when I'm looking at my computer screen and I don't know if it's my internet connection or my phone let me see I can't change anything on my phone okay good Thank you so much, Pam, for letting me know. Thanks, Kathy. Okay. All right, so I've got my card base. I don't have it scored because it's not a tall card. I don't need to score it. And we've got her folded in half. <clears throat> and now I'm going to come in with my little confetti stamp. 
and stamp some of this fun party stuff in the corner. I'm going to do the same down here. No rhyme or reason to these, just stamping where I can. Just a little there. Okay. And now we're ready to mount. I'm using this awesome pad of dimensionals that I got in the March Paper Pumpkin Kit. Um, this might be <laughs> the greatest joy of that kit were all these dimensionals I got. So in case you're seeing this and wondering where the heck this big uh, stack of dimensionals came from, it came from my paper pumpkin. Okay. And then I am just going to mount this, pop it up on dimensionals, center this. And our card is done. Of course we can stamp the inside. You can stamp another happy birthday. You can bring in another panda would be super cute. Do another layer. Um, but okay, so. I promised you that when I was done with this project, what do you think guys? Do you love this one? This one I think is super cute. I just love that little panda and I feel like he's floating down on his adorable balloon. Um, so I promised that I would show you how I was inspired to make this project by this. And literally what I've got here is some stamping up the side. So I swapped that out for this friend stamp and I had all this white space. So I thought, well, okay, what can I put here? And here came the panda and I made a totally different card inspired by this design. That's how simple it is to copy and share. They call it case, copy and share um, a card that you really love. Uh, be inspired by projects that you already have in your stamp room. Okay. So, next. Let me kind of clean up my area here so we can get our next project ready. Our next project, I'm going to be using the uh, Detailed Dragonflies Thinlets Dies. We're going to use Tranquil Tide. You know, I had to use my Dragonflies because it's officially spring, you guys. So, of course, I had to use something that reminded me of uh, our cabin up north. Okay. So, the stamps that we're using for this is the Sorry for Everything stamp set. I love this stamp set. I've used it tons of times. There's a lot of really great sayings in here. Um, Sorry that things fell apart. Sorry to see you go. That would be a great going away uh, card or someone retiring or getting a new job. Sorry for your loss. Um, this one actually can be for pet sympathy. Sorry for the loss of your furry friend. And we don't have a lot of stamp sets like that um, for pet sympathy. So I, that, I really liked that. Plus the sorry is huge. Um, I love that too. This card, uh, you may have noticed on my blog that I've been doing um, from some clean and simple cards, a lot of white on white. 
And I'm using a white on white palette for this card as well. I'm going to use my Dragonfly uh, die cut here. And I'm just going to run this through the big shot. Okay. I'm using my magnetic platform. Um, and I got to be honest with you, my brush with the dye brush adapter is in my car because I'm doing a home party. Thursday for my friend Anne, and I already have it packed, so hopefully this won't be too much of a hassle to get these little pieces out. Let's see. Use my paper piecing tool. Whoops, there. Oh, I hope this comes out easy. Oh, I love it. Only one little piece here that I have to push out. Thank goodness, huh? That would have been boring to have to watch me do all that. Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm using my Tranquil Tide uh, ink pad. And this is one of our in colors this year. Um, every year Stampin' Up! comes up with new in colors that are not in their palette, in their normal collection, and then, um, they're only available for a limited time. So this one will be available this year and next, but we're going to be using, uh, some Peekaboo Peach later on, and that one is going out. So if you like the in colors, you definitely should not wait to order, order yours. Okay, I'm going to try to get this semi straight on here. I love that big sentiment. Oh my gosh, one of my favorites. And I think I'm going to do sorry to hear you're not feeling well mount this and bring this in under my Big sorry sentiment. And the next thing I want to do, I'm going to clean some of the stuff out of the way because I want to bring in some of this Tranquil Tide on my butter, or sorry, my dragonfly. And I actually grabbed the wrong marker, so give me a second here. I'm gonna dig out my tranquil tide right here. And I'm gonna show you a technique that I call marker flicking. So each of these Stampin' Rate markers, just like our blends, has two ends. You have a fine point that makes it really easy for coloring in small spaces or writing in the inside of your cards. And then you have this thicker tip that's broad and can color into big spaces, do a million other things, of course, and also do this technique with. So to marker flick, you want the cap of your marker and you're going to apply some pressure with the broad tip of your marker. And then you're going to kind of 
flick it back so that the ink kind of splatters onto your project. So of course I wanted to move everything out of the way because I didn't want to get all those ink splatters all over. And when you're done, hopefully you can see that, you've got some subtle splatters on your, on this in this case, my dragonfly die. So I'm going to bring him onto my card. Use a mini dimensional to adhere. I love the mini dimensionals. I'm just going to put him up in the corner. And I want a little that's the wrong one. I already got out my baker's twine. Baker's twine to add just a little silver to this I think will be really pretty. I should have tied it first so I didn't have to work around my dragonfly wings, but I wasn't thinking. All right, let's try this. I also cut this way too long. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, have you ever done this? Cut your baker's twine way too long? It's really kind of a pain in the butt to deal with. I like to tie, for those of you that watch my lives or my videos, you know I like to tie my bows in a knot first to keep them secured. And then I finish the bow. This got all twisted around. There we go. Just trim the ends now of our baker's twine. And then all that's left to do believe it or not, is adhere it to our card base. So we've got our Whisper White Thick, I love as my card base. Pop this layer up on dimensionals. Now this layer was five and a quarter by four inches. So I cut it a quarter inch smaller than the card front. A card front, when you've uh, made your, um, you've cut your card stock in half like this, a card front is five and a half by four and a quarter. All right. And there's our card. This wants to keep twisting. So just pretend that this looks like a perfect bow. <clears throat> Sorry to hear you're not feeling well, and we've got this beautiful dragonfly. Um, I'm going to leave the inside blank. My computer keeps freezing up on me, so if you guys have questions, and sorry if I'm missing them, um, I keep having to refresh my screen. <clears throat> All right, so I promised you I would take it back to my card for inspiration and some of you might be thinking I'm totally crazy because this card is not even the same color it's a different direction 
but we really do have the same basic layout. We've got a sentiment across here. We've got stamps to the right side, but instead of stamps, I replaced it with this die. It's that simple. That's how easy it is to take your inspiration and change it into a new project. Okay. <clears throat> I've got another project using the Dragonfly Thinlets. This project is also super, super fast and easy. And this is probably one of my most favorite cards I ever designed. some of my stuff here okay so for this card we're using a tempting turquoise got the marker with it as well I'm using another white on white palette card and I'm going to be using the detailed dragonfly thinlets again this time I'm using this uh, group of dragonflies and so I'm going to die cut that hopefully this isn't wiggling my camera too much okay I use my magnetic platform a ton because I love that it keeps my dies in one place and because I am actually prepared ahead of time for once I don't have my darn uh, <clears throat> die brush to get the intricate pieces out so I hope I have as much luck with this as I did in the last dragonfly we cut out see how we did now if you don't have the dye brush what I'm doing here is taking my piecing tool and I'm just poking in these really small circles around the outside edges of our die and then if I find it's getting stuck I just go to that area and kind of poke out one of the circles. Like here his head is kind of sticking in there. Again, the dye brush makes this really easy. I'm sorry guys that I have it all packed away. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Okay. We have just one piece to clean up here. Now we are going to do the very same thing that we did with our big dragonfly with our marker flicking technique. Let me get some of this out of the way so we don't have any ink mishaps. And again, we're taking the broad end of our marker and we're just flicking it into our cap so we get some ink splatters on these dragonflies. Like so. And now I'm going to use the happy birthday sentiment from the happy birthday gorgeous stamp set and I chose this one because I really wanted to go for something subtle and I love this font oh my gosh I wish my handwriting looked like that 
So here's what we're going to do. I think you might be surprised by this card and how easy it is. I'm going to stamp on my pierce mat here because I want to get a nice crisp image. So all this says is happy birthday. Stamp that. And I'm going to grab my mini dimensionals. Putting one near the top and one on our last one. Let's see. And then I'll put one on our middle one over here. Can't see any of those. That's good. Just pulling the backs off of these. And remember my little tip. If you can't get your fingernail on there to lift them up, just poke it into the center and the ends should pop up. And then you can pull it off. Okay, so we've got it. Our happy birthday stamped. And now I'm going to come in here with my dragonflies. You might be thinking I'm crazy because I'm already putting my ink away. But believe it or not, we are almost done with this card. I'm using a Whisper White Thick Card Base. And I want to pop this card front up on Dimensionals. Center this. And this card is done. This is how clean and simple and easy this card is. I love the crisp of the blue against the white. I love how quick and easy it came together. And this is the kind of card that you can stamp tons of these over and over again. And actually, I did just that. So here are some other cards I made just like this one. This one uh, used Peekaboo Peach. This one uses Berry Burst. I've got Pear Pizzazz, uh, one of the purples, let me look here. This one looks like Perfect Plum, Melon Mambo, and Island Indigo. And here we have some super simple birthday cards that can be for anybody to add to your collection. And this card took us all of five minutes. So, what do you think of that card? Pretty clean and simple, pretty easy to put together. Doesn't have to be a lot of layers, doesn't have to be really complicated, and you can still make a beautiful project. All right, we have one more project. Okay. I have to be really honest with you guys. I have never made this card before. The other cards I found in my collection, they were all inspired by my thanks card. By the way, this dragonfly card here 
is just like our thanks card. We have our sentiment across it. And again, a die cut instead of stamps. Same layout, beautiful card. Okay. So, I've never made a card like this before. All I did was prepare by picking out a sentiment that I thought would work and a stamp set that I thought would work. So we're gonna wing this kind of on the fly. Now this card I am for sure following something that will seem more like this uh, inspiration card. <clears throat> so I'm using a Peekaboo Peach card base because it's one of my favorite colors. <clears throat> We've got a basic black layer and a whisper white layer. Um, let's see. And we've got our strip just like on our inspiration card. I'm going to use the Heart Happiness stamp set and the Happy Celebrations. For Happy Celebrations, I'm using the Celebrate Sentiment. For Heart Happiness, I'm going to use a whole bunch of things from here. I'm just catching up with your comments and I love what you said Charlene that it looks really fancy without a lot of work those are my favorite cards and Sue you are making me giggle when you say that you could handle that one I know you could because you're a talented stamper okay so I feel like this card would be a wedding card with some hearts that's what I think I'm gonna make and when I was picking out the stamps, uh, the ink pads that I wanted to use, I want to give you a little tip for how I know some colors are going to go together. If you have looked closely in your catalog, you see that where um, they list the designer series paper, so in this case we're looking at the Picture Perfect Party DSP. Underneath the explanation or description of the paper, they list the colors that they use and that will coordinate with this DSP. These colors are picked out by artists, obviously, because look at this beautiful project. And when I am looking for a new color combination, I go here and I tend to look at what they've listed in the DSP. So for this one, they've got Basic Black, Bermuda Bay, Berry Burst, Lemon Line Twist, Pe Peekaboo Peach, Pool Party, and Whisper White. So I, using that palette, grabbed my Peekaboo Peach, my Pool Party, and my Berry Burst. If you are color challenged, this could be maybe one of the biggest tips I ever give you, is just go to your catalog. Okay, let's do some stamping. I'm going to use this heart. Grab the next size up. Now these are photopolymer stamps. So I'm going to use my stamp and pierce mat so I get nice images on them. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what we come up with, huh? so glad that you liked that advice because sometimes I just get stumped when it comes to my colors and then one day I noticed oh my gosh they're listing all the colors here genius
Uh, and now I'm using Pool Party. What else do we have here? <clears throat> Ooh, I like these little hearts. These are cute. I'm use a smaller block. I don't like it when my block is too big for my stamp. I tend to get ink all over it. Adding some brighter colors now in here. What do you think so far? I think it's turning out pretty good. Now, the one thing I noticed as I was doing my swap cards is that this particular, when I was using the designer series paper, this particular color palette really popped against a black layer. So I want to make sure that I incorporate that black in here too. Pam, I am not going to be on stage. Oh my gosh, I missed the sign up and I had told my my upline on her team, I said, if anyone needs to cancel, I can go now. Uh, so I wish I was going, but I'm not going to be there, <clears throat> unfortunately. Okay, what do you think? Do we like it? I love it. I think it's turning out really cute. Of course, I'm going to want this to stand out a bit. This is where I think the black really pops when we mount it on a black layer. So let's do that. Oh, that would have been great, Pam. Oh my gosh. Next time for sure. I'm trying to save up to go to the um, on stage in Orlando coming up. I think in the fall it is. I think that will be really fun. Stampers are like the nicest people ever. So I love getting to meet all of them at on stage. It's like the best part of being a demonstrator, I think. Well, that and being able to inspire everybody because that's like my favorite part too. Oh, that looks cute. I think it goes great so far. What do you think? Okay. I need to stamp celebrate on here. I think I want to do it in berry burst. What color are we thinking, ladies? Berry burst or black? Does anyone have any ideas, requests? What do you think? Berry Burst or Black? I'm kind of leaning towards Berry Burst. Okay. If we don't like it, we'll just cut a new piece or flip it over. Oh, I totally inked all over my stamp. Let me try this again. Okay, I know that uh, a couple of the tops of our letters are going to be off the strip and that's okay with me. my gosh, I love it. Um, I'm glad you guys wanted Berry Burst too because it's one of my very, very favorite colors. All right, let's get this card put together. 
glue down our layer. And oh, that turns out so cool. I want to pop this up. Let me see if I can find my dimensionals. <clears throat> Not too shabby for uh, on the fly design, right? one of my new favorite cards I think it turned out great and look it we totally were inspired by our original card which was inspired by my friend Dina so thank you for the inspiration and I think this card turned out great we've got a great thank you card I I have some friends getting married this summer. Of course, wedding season is coming up. So I know I'll get to use this for their wedding. They're a really bright and fun, energetic couple. And so I just think these bright, fun colors will be perfect for them. Okay, let's take a look at our projects. We've got our inspiration card here. Clean up my mess here inspiration card we have our design on the fly we've got our birthday dragonflies are so sorry to hear you're not feeling well dragonfly our birthday card and don't forget our multiple birthday dragonfly ideas all inspired by one basic layout. This is how easy stamping can be. If you don't have a stash of cards, get into a swap. Get some ideas. Open your catalog. Take a look at some of the projects. And use Stampin' Up's ideas for color palettes. Uh, remember, you'll be entered to win a prize if you share my video, comment, place an order, use my host code. If your order is under $150, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my live. I'm going to list all of the dimensions for my cards and my blog. I'm going to try my hardest to get that uploaded. Boy, probably not this weekend because I'm visiting my adorable niece and my sister for her birthday. So I'm going to try for early next week and make sure you join me right here next Wednesday, 7 o'clock Central Time, where I give you more tips for the Busy Stamper. Um, thanks again for stopping, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I hope that I inspired you with my projects. Thanks so much. Have a great night.